screen. Hopefully you are doing great. So in the last video, I showed you how to spread the screen from um, spread screen vertically from bottom to top. So you can do from top to bottom yourself. So in this screen, um, in the video here on the screen, I'm going to explain for you how to perform the spread horizontally. That's me from right to uh, right to left or left to right. So before I go into code, let me say you a little more about how the coordinates in the mobile phone. So you see, if you go to the Google and you search phone screen, uh, something like S right here, and you will see a lot of picture and you can keep as preference. Uh, Sorry for the noise around because family member um, come in home after a working day. So I think that is okay and do not affect to the audio. So here uh, you can see uh, we have the Y coordinate and the S coordinate here, right? So if you are going to swipe from left to right, uh, the thing you change will be the S, right? The X will change, but the Y will not change, right? And the anchor, uh, if you still remember the anchor in the last video, the anchor is where we, we keep the, the line for swiping. So in this case, the anchor will be keep unchanged for the Y, but will change for the X. That means we will put the finger um, around 10% compared to the screen width, and then we swipe to around 90% of the screen width, right? And our target uh, screen will be the swipe screen here, let's see. And we will try to perform, uh, oh, if we perform left to right, we will see nothing, you see? So we will perform from right to left. That means we will start around 90% of the screen width here, and then we will end up around 10% of the screen width. And the anchor will be keep unchanged with the, the Y coordinate. Okay, so let's try to inspect the element first, the, uh, the element swipe. Let's open the... I build desktop and refresh the result. Okay, we need to close it and then try to inspect again. Start the session here. I think even there's a background noise around us. You can still hear me well, right? If not, just leave a comment and then I will try to improve in the next video. Because I just, uh, you know, um, keep sharing recording after working hours. So <laughs> at home, you know, the noise is not like silently. No one is, it will not happen like that. Because at home, we have family member talking around. So I love the noise. Uh, okay, so we are going to inspect for the spy here. So I think we can we can spy based on something, an element here. So it has uh, content description. It is right here, just copy it first. Then we are going back to, okay, let me commit the chain for the last question. Okay, now we are going to create a new text script file here, JavaScript, and we call it Y uh, horizontal add, and we going to add a, a text with the right block here. It should be a uh, spike horizontally 
and we insert a test script block here so swipe uh horizontally right so we need to declare the spy icon on the home screen constant spy icon home screen equal and then we view let's see the first step that we need to click on click on the spy icon right and the next step that is try to we will try to touch uh, on the element right um and the last step that we are trying that the um, swipe from right to left swipe from right to left here right so just try to click on the spy icon first dollar sign and spy icon home screen selector called ADI click and then we try to touch on the element somewhere on the screen to refresh the resource uh, let me manually try to click on the spy here and refresh resource actually it is refresh source doesn't matter so try to click here click here to touch on the screen uh, the reason that I explain on the video about how to uh, spy vertically so you can go back if you don't understand why do we need to click here first before we do in something like swiping swiping on the screen okay so in this case the content description is by screen here so let me copy it at the locator value here so it should be constant Spy text video spy hidden text text equal and the locator here. So touch on the screen. We view touch on the screen. So we are going to touch on that element on the text. So it will not affect to anything on the application. It's not spy. The spy hit the text. Dot click here and now we are going to spy from the the right to the left. So the first thing that we need to declare the anchor. So the anchor percentage equal fifty. Okay, equal fifty here. So because I'm going to put it around here fifty. And then the constant start point percentage equal ninety uh, percent, right? It should be ninety percent. Uh, well, it should be ninety percent uh, here. Ninety percent of the width, so it should be ninety percent. And the constant, the end point percentage. So it's be around 10%. And I'm going to destruct the width value from driver.getWindow side and destruct the width property. So finally, I will calculate the pixel to start swiping. So it should be constant um, anchor, anchor is called. Uh, with uh, multiple with uh, multiple with uh, uh, anchor percentage right and divide by 100 and we do the same thing for stack start point and end point okay so it should be something like with uh, multiple with uh, stock all percentage and we divide by 100 and the last thing is end point here is should be the width uh, 
we multiply uh, n point percentage and we divide by uh, 100. Now we are going to call driver the touch perform and in the touch perform we need to provide an array of action. So the first action that is press right so the press and then uh, the second property should be option and we have S S should be the stock point percentage right and the Y the Y is now uh, anchor percentage because as you you see here the Y will be not changed because we swipe from here to here the Y is not changed but the S coordinates will be changed so we need to change the the stock point percentage compared with X and the anchor will be keep unchanged okay so the second action is uh, weight action we press and then we wait uh, we wait with options is a uh, millisecond around 1000 that's mean one second right so the next action is uh, move to we move to where with the options is uh, s should be n point oh it should be stock post not stock post percentage and this is end part and the white will be kept, keep a chain with the end curve okay and the last one should be action release and we do nothing with the option here we keep it empty right and then we can swipe from right to left but let's see how how much we we need to spice just one two three four five six seven right around seven oh more than that one two three four five six around six okay so just put uh, around five right so let's see how many is a locking screen and this is why and we do one two three four five so we are doing in five here right to cut it here and four in why why time we name it as a why time by right? uh let five time equal zero and why time is less than five and then why time increase and then we do this one so that means we will keep y from right to left uh five times right so uh, try to replace the test script name here in the text configuration and run it again try to copy copy the best and we copy from the root location and change in the text configuration file here so this something abi here right and we already have the FPM server started with FPM desktop, so we just need to run the command again. npm test, and we specify the text configuration file here. Enter. So let's see. <clears throat> Now uh, it launched 
the home base application click on swipe and then perform swipe oh uh, something wrong you see it's the it didn't swipe as the past it so go back to check our option here so we have the width here uh anchor is something like uh the at so this top one like web run again um, we put around here and the at oh, okay i see so we need to calculate the anchors pay on the height right not the width so let the anchors equal height multiple with anchor percentage and we divide by 100 now it launched the home back click on spy Oh, something wrong. Mm. Something wrong here. The anchor has uh, anchor percentage. Uh, start point percentage. With the width around 90. Mm. What was wrong? Let me see. Uh, 90 and to 10. Uh, 90 and 10. Uh, oh, it should be anchors, not anchor percentage. Here, yeah, the anchor here, yeah, right? And we will keep something like, uh, yeah, we can, we can multiply the height with anchors percentage because actually we, we need to put something here. So we need to compare with the height. So the anchor will be middle of screen, screen height here. So we put it here, right? So try to run the script again. Now it launched the application again, and then here we go. It's it's swipe. You see, swipe from right to left five times successfully. So try to apply in your test script and keep uh, keep learning. Um, see you in the next in the next lesson.